Hey mates, what's up? Hope you are all doing well. In this video, I will show you a quick overview about Monero CLI wallet, like how to install, uh, sync the blockchain, some basic commands. Since the CLI wallet offers uh, more features than the GUI wallet, and it's good to know. Let's begin. Let's navigate to the Get Monero website, go to download, and as you can see, that's the CLI wallet, open source, command line interface, a brief overview, you can set local or remote node, over Tor, uh, compatible with hardware wallets, and you have an option not to download all the blockchain, like pruning, it's like a third of the size of the blockchain. So first we will open the command line in our Linux machine and check the architecture, type uh, uname dash M, and then you see in this case we have x86 64 bit, download the package. After we download the package, Let's verify the hash. Just type the command. Okay, the user SHA-256. And uh, finally, we just download. And I will do copy paste, search, and I see it's matched to the file name. And of course, you need to check the PGP signature, but there are so many tutorials on YouTube how to do that. So I will spare it, because I don't want this video will be very long. And it's really probably hard to <laughs> explain with my broken English. Okay, so as you can see, the hash is match. Let's extract the package. And as you can see in the download folder, we have the Monero folder. I'm deleting the zip file. I don't need it for the moment. Let's navigate to the download folder. Okay, so now we can see all the, fi all the files. First, we will use the Monero D, that's the daemon uh, that we use to sync the blockchain. So basically, if you run Monero D dash help, you will see all the commands that you can run. So now let's run Monero D. And as you can see, it will start to download the blockchain and sync it. It's going to be take a while, it's gonna take a long time. You can see it connect to local local host IP and the port 18081, that's the default one. But if you already download the, the blockchain, you can just use the command monero d dash dash data dir equal in the path to the block to the file that contains the blockchain. So as you can see, it's run and by default it's it's create in your home directory a folder. You need to go to the view menu and show hidden files, and you can see that it's create a folder called bitmonero. And you can follow the logs. See it's refresh, it's getting bigger and bigger, the file size. In the database directory, you can see that uh, the file size is getting bigger and bigger because it's downloading all the blockchain. You can, I think it's take up to 80 to 100 gigabytes. I'm not sure, and they recommend to use SSD for that. But you can only stop the process with Control C and run it again, and it will start from where it stop. So we run the Monero D again, and it continues sync from where it stop, and the file size getting bigger, the data file size. Okay, let's stop it. Um, I don't have enough space in this uh, machine, so what we will do? We will start now the. Monero Wallet CLI, just run this command and you get some small introduction about the daemon network correctly, uh, some warning, the Monero version of the wallet, the logs location, and we need to give the wallet name now. So basically what's happened, you give a name and then in the wallet folder, it will scan the folder, and if it doesn't see this na the wallet name, it will create new wallet. But if it's, you see the name, it will load the wallet. So I give it the name CP Breeze uh, YouTube. Enter. It doesn't. It didn't find the wallet. So we ask if you want to create new one. Say yes. Give it a password. I recommend a strong password, because if someone have access to those two files, uh, he will get access to your seed language. Okay, you can see we have now the keys file and the wallet itself. So if someone have access to those files with the password, you have access to all your funds and you can see the seeds, the 25 words. If you share it with someone, 
basically screw you, all your funds can be compromised stolen or whatever so save it in a safe place piece of paper or whatever you do hard wallet okay now it's ask you if you want to mine on this machine usually i say no because this is weak machine and i don't want to overrun the cpu okay so now we need to connect to a node because we didn't download the blockchain it's not recommended it's better to run it local host for a security reason because when you connect to other node you're exposed to many vulnerabilities okay run the command welcome you get a, a brief about the, the project so let's set up a remote node so run the command set underscore daemon and as you can see you need to mention the host and the port and then you need to write if it's trusted untrusted or it's spy on you for this demonstration i will use a remote node but as you can see the warning in monero.fail it's very dangerous there is malicious hosts there and the government and chain analysis spy on you and they can compromise your transaction yeah so you see you have like Tor nodes or clear mainnet or clear net nodes available. Even if you use Tor nodes, sometimes it can be compromised. I always recommend run your own uh, node to download the blockchain. Okay, I will use the um, Cake Wallet address. See, it's even not SSL, it's like HTTP, regular HTTP. But for the demonstration, we will sync it with this node. Let paste the address and write trusted address and port trusted ah okay not too much activity so we logged out enter the password again and right set daemon let's paste the address and the port trusted okay so the daemon is set now it's out of sync as you can see the world is out of sync so right refresh and it's take a while to sync we give it a couple of minutes okay it's failed. Let's run refresh again. And the wallet is synced. Now we can use the wallet. Let me go to the getting started guide. So if you write help all, you can see all the available commands. If you type only help, you see the basic commands that the most used, the most important one. For example, you write wallet info, you get the info, the name, description, address, type, balance, give you the balance, and the unlock balance address will show you the address you have, address all, give you all the addresses. If you type address new, it will create a new address that starts with eight. So basically it's recommended give, if someone wants to send you funds, give the sub address not the original address but some feature won't work for example if you want to create a view only wallet you do need to use the well the address that start with four and if you type address all you will see all your addresses you created let's create another address and then you can see all the addresses and to transfer fund is quite easy just transfer space the address you want to send and the amount you write transfer paste the address of the destination space 0 0.1 for example xmr and send it if you write seed you will see your, your seed phrase never share it of course write status you see the status of your wallet refresh will refresh the sync you see the version you can donate oh yeah this is how to send monero we already explained that Ah, you can create new address and give it a description. Let's create new address, give it a description. <laughs> Buying stuff. <laughs> then if you write address all, you can see the description. Show transfer. We didn't transfer nothing, so we don't have nothing. No transaction. And you can mine, of course. And if you exit from the wallet and run the CLI again, it will ask you to specify a name of the wallet. So if I type the same wallet name we already give, it will scan the folder. You see you have the wallet, you enter the password, but if you give different name, it will create a new wallet. See, now we have two wallets. 
to wallets and to keys files. So if you copy those files to other CLI uh, Mono wallet folder, you can use those wallets. So never share those files. That's basically your wallet and your keys. That's it. I hope you understand. And if you have any question, write in the comment. Like, subscribe. Have a nice day. Cheers.